need to really commit to planning. Um, I have understood, like, I understand it too. Like, I, previous to being a data scientist, I was, like, a very artistic, flowy kind of person, and I didn't want to, like, plan anything out. I just wanted to go with the flow. Um, so it took effort for me to become this person, and I understand as a room of more of that type of person, this might be a hard sell for you, but I'm gonna try really hard to like make your PM love me by the end of this. Um, so why do I personally love planning? The top thing is that it empowers me to say no. Um, if there is a plan and someone comes in and says like this some other thing needs to happen, I can say, no, this is the plan. If you want to change the plan, then we have to talk about it. So I consider it as my way to say no while pointing at something to say no about. Um, I like taking PTO. This is me and my husband and my dog seeing more dog photos. Um, I, we took a hike at a lake. Um, I like to sneak in tech debt. If I'm the one planning things, I can put in little bits of tech debt wherever I want it to go in. Um, and I find myself to be a kind of anxious person. Um, I don't like this like big unknown, so the more I can plan, the more I can kind of relieve my own anxiety. Um, so that's why I love planning. Um, but what do I mean by planning? So this can be kind of the classical sprint planning that, you know, if you're like in an agile, um, environment, that might be how you plan. This could be ad hoc project planning, or it could be Thanksgiving dinner. This talk was originally given at work, and I went and walked through a JIRA project, but I can't do that, so I'm walking through Thanksgiving dinner, in my example. So, um, this can be used in all areas of your life, uh, and it's why we have pizza tonight, because I did a good job planning. Matt can attest to this. Uh, it was... Oh, it was him, me, the pizza, and the sodas in a car together, and I was like, shit, we got, oh, sorry. <laughs> Gosh, we got to make it to the GitHub so that uh, they have a talk tonight, because otherwise, since they might get in an accident or don't plan well, no talk. All right, so I'm going to kind of walk through my, how I think about planning, the steps that I take. Um, and the first thing is to at least discover what the desired scope of the project is. This is the second hardest part, and we'll get around to the first hardest part. Um, the biggest advice I have here is listen to what people are saying, but like take a step back and try to figure out what their actual goals for the project are instead of just what they're telling you, like I need a spreadsheet that says this, that, and the other thing, or I need like these graphs. Try to figure out what their actual goals are for the project um, and just kind of figure that out. This is where I like to start to figure out, like, is there any tech that, that aligns with these goals? Like, do they want the thing to be performant? Figure out what that tech debt is, start to get it in there. Like, I really like stuffing, but no one else in my family does. But the goal for this dinner was have a delicious Thanksgiving dinner, so I stuck stuff, stuffing in. Um, and my advice is don't to particulars at this point is very tempting to, but this is the point where you're just trying to figure out what the desired list of food is for your Thanksgiving dinner. Um, then you're going to do an estimate of how long each of these is going to take, and I advise you to go really deep into this. So if you've ever cooked meals or off of like an online recipe, there's always two cups of chopped onions in the recipe that's gonna take you like five minutes to chop, and that's not included in their estimated time, so read through the instructions to make sure you know that you have to chop the onions. Uh, so that's my advice here, is don't just know the oven time, know the total time, um, figure out how long your pastry is gonna to take to make, and write it all out. The next is figure out your dependencies. So the oven temperatures, what things can get cooked at the same time, and then the dishes are like your people. So we have a white casserole dish, we have a cast iron, and we have a baking sheet. So we're limited in the number of dishes or the container that we can make our food in. So you gotta figure out what your dependencies are. And then I like to arrange it all visually. So I put this all in a spreadsheet. I have my oven time, my oven temperatures, my dishes, and then that allowed me to figure out that I could cook the leaf tarts and the potatoes same time um, and kind of run, lay out like what times are going to start and end. So uh, that would be my advice is if this is probably going to depend on what tool you have. Um, you know, if you're in JIRA, figure out the view that you like the best to see all these interdependencies. Um, or if you want to go crazy with spreadsheets like I do, you can do that too. Um, but that would be my advice. 
devices kind of lay things out um, visually in order to kind of plan them. And then add in your buffers. So leak tart is my buffer dish because I can finish it early and I can serve as an appetizer. So figure out what your buffers are and figure out what are easy wins that you can deliver to your stakeholders uh, that they will appreciate. And now we get to the actual hardest part where you have to take all this back to your stakeholders and get them to commit to some scope and some timeline. And you might have to cross some things off the list, but it's better to do it at this stage than do it, you know, two months into development when uh, you're running up against deadlines. Uh, and I'd like to remember, remind everyone that we're all working towards mutual goals at this point in time. And so if we have to cut things, it's because we're trying to work towards some sort of mutual goal together. Um, so, in recap, these are the steps that I like to take in order to uh, deliver a, uh, an awesome dinner or a project. Um, and this is my husband excited about Thanksgiving dinner. Um, the, the last part is you're not done because you planned a project. And so these are some of my best uh, practices for uh, when you're actually deep into the project. Uh, you have to have a lot of grace for your, your you, your teammates, your PMs, whoever you're working with, um, and just have a lot of understanding and kindness with them. Um, you want to tell people that the scope is creeping early and readjust. Um, and kind of re 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 uh, recreate this plan or re kind of adjust this plan. Um, being very honest about what you can get done uh, and ask for help early and often. I, I think a lot of times people will take it on themselves to try to get all this stuff done, but if you can tell people early that you're concerned about delivery, that's gonna go much better than if you do it later. Um, and my example for this is I used to um, be an outdoor guide and I took children on, on like trips like rock climbing and um, whitewater rafting. And the minute that I knew that I was going to get those kids back to their parents a little bit later, phone calls were going out to them and telling the parents, that, like, hey, I'm going to get your kids home 30 minutes later than I thought that they were. And parents are much happier that, at that point in time than they are if you get your, their kids back uh, later. They get very <laughs> concerned, let's just say, if their kids aren't where they're supposed to be um, when you say that they're going to be there. Um, and if you can kind of try to adhere to these things and try to kind of keep, uh, keep these principles in mind, um, then you're going to get to have conversations like this with your manager, Mark is my manager for context, and you get your PTO approved, even if you're kind of, I've blocked out the names of things, I'll show it, I'll show it. but releasing big, big black box uh, projects, and I was able to, uh, this was actually last year, um, these are old slides, uh, but I was able to take uh, this climbing trip that I wanted to with my friends, uh, because we have, so I had planned this together a while. So that's kind of my advice to you is, um, this is like eating your vegetables. That good planning allows you to um, get the things that you want out of your work in your life. Um, and thank you. Another dog picture.